How do I make this short and sweet? Okay, so let's start with Happy New Year. And I really wish you everything that you are wishing for yourself. So some changes will happen on my uh, basically channel. So make sure that you're subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, then you see this like thing in the right kind of like corner, bottom corner, just click on it because you'll be getting some series and some invitations that other people won't have an access to it. They're not going to be post, uh, posted like publicly. And you know, also, if you haven't already joined me on my mailing list, the link to it is my description because that is specifically important for those of you who really want to take advantage of private readings or who even want to take advantage of Reiki and all of these other add-ons that I actually sent to my subscribers. And before we move right into the action, let me just ask you to support the channel. Uh, they're like already made, they're already out. Uh, there is $29.95, I believe, for one sign and $59.95 for all. So you just have to go with www.cattero.ca slash annual and basically the rest of it is history. It's going to be the order and you get it from me. As soon as I see it in my mailbox, I send that like, reading to you. So that really supports the channel and this particular year I'm going to be helping lots of animals who actually cannot fend for themselves. I'm talking about all the strays all over the world that you know, really need that really loving touch and I really hope you can help me in actually pushing that forward. You know, maybe it is just a drop in the ocean who really cares about a kitten who knows where it is, somewhere in Turkey, somewhere in, in Siberia. But you know, it matters to that pretty kitty that actually the life, the leg, whatever is needed, an eye is being saved. So without much further ado, let's jump into the reading and see what January brings for us because this year brings lots of changes and hence if you order your telescope, you're going to know all about it. So let's start my dear friends and see where January takes us. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your reading. Now it's really interesting that in this round of January readings I have and the shadow that you're seeing watching, Safia was watching your reading, so you're getting blessed by, by a cat. In, in this round of readings I have lots of solstice uh, cards showing up. In, in your case you are getting winter solstice, time of some kind of like reflection, right? With Within this card, right, we are talking about this like midpoint of the year, which is just behind us. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, just like a few days ago, I believe on the 21st, um, it was kind of like something that was the longest night where the celebration of the night really happens. And from this point on, every single day is going to be longer and longer. I really feel that this is really talking about uh, the need for you to review the past year and ask yourself what the most important lesson was that you had to learn and what you have accomplished. What kind of like dreams and visions you actually really want to manifest for yourself in 2018. What you can build on top of the things that you have already had. Whether or not it was a smooth ride or it was a challenging year for you, you kind of like really need to acknowledge your experience as sort of like that you are like combination of judgments and fears and joys and honor whatever you have been experiencing. I mean, you're a Scorpio. I really don't have to give you a lecture about how to get in touch with your emotions. But I do need to lecture you that you need to put a finger on them and not to just like simply flow. And that's what water does, it flows. This is really more or less asking you to also learn and apply. This is much higher level of that. So you also need to allow yourself to kind of like uh, experience this emotion body connection. And maybe this is why you have the devil card, right? So this kind of like 
is the 15th century card, which was one of the first uh, basically tarot decks ever made, Visconti uh, tarot. And as you can see, uh, the devil card was talking about something that was like, culturally rejected. It was like something about wildness and, and that kind of like undigested shadow side, right? Which is that subconscious problem over here. And the shadow is really actually at the core of our being, uh, which we really cannot get rid of and will never succeed in taming. And that also should be a part of this reflection. And honestly, even though this rune is called Ansu's and it's the rune of the divine, which is quite the opposite to the rule of the devil, like the first word that came to my mind is the word fuck. And in conjunction, it really tells me that there is like kind of like really need for uh, maybe carnal expression of who you are. Maybe you, you kind of like, because you guys sometimes you mix your passion with love. And even though you crave love, and that's why you have this like big river over here, like it's frozen enough to give reflection, but not frozen enough to be stable, kind of like force, right? I really think that here this is really talking about taking actions that will harmonize what you want that you know you need to allow yourself to let go of in inhibitions anything that is inhibitor in your life or if you have people that are surrounding you who could be a little bit you know too square it is really time to understand and allow yourself to be who you are the devil card also advises you to show some spunk that there might be nothing to be gained if you try to be subtle or strategic in maybe some situation that you're experiencing. So <laughs> you really need to assert your agenda and express yourself honestly and just let the chips fall to where they may, you know? Your best bet could be to really express your true emotions, even if that means being angry. I really feel you haven't shown anger and it was really suppressed. You need to let go of this. You need to ask yourself, why haven't you done it? Have you protected someone or yourself? And what was the result out of this? Really, really, combined over here, I really think this F basically rune is basically F everything. I really need to kind of like be who I am. You know, as far as the rune, it's really talking about entire new set of circumstances. It uh, going to talk about change of situation, but not before you acknowledge something was very hot, something was very cold. Maybe you have been dealing with situations that were hot and cold, or person that was hot and cold, and you really didn't know like really how to find yourself in this situation, right? Um, it is about spiritual intervention over here that you are simply able to step on the brakes when it's really needed right you're going to get lots of answers and given that you're like such a strong spiritual kind of like thing it might be simple like when you're brushing your teeth in the morning and seeing them in the mirror it could be in the form of meaningful dreams also i see strange coincidences that will kind of like really describe almost like some kind of like synchronicity Maybe you're going to kind of have a friends with benefits situation this month and you will feel that you're completely comfortable and fine with being in that kind of arrangement. And then you wake up in the morning and you go, oh my God, what am I doing, right? It's going to be just like, like that. It can even happen in a sense really suddenly. Um, it might be also kind of like really direct confrontation of some kind, especially if you're dealing possibly with an older uh, individual or somebody who, um, who maybe wants to control you. Maybe there's like somebody, um, <laughs> the devil is about control. The devil is also about addictions. The devil can really talk about all these dark things, but when the devil card shows, it means like you have to look for that light. You have to look outside, but this is really telling you before you leave, kind of like really look into different kind of like aspects of yourself, maybe uh, to kind of like realize how much of the situation was your contribution and how much was the outside. 
Um, so let me see. I'm going to do the second part of the reading, which is going to be general, and then I'm going to go in the third part, which is going to really talk about uh, relationships, in particular for those of you who want relationships and those of you who maybe already are in one. So let me start with this. Right, Scorpio, you have four of sea, ten of fire, moon, seven of sky, nine of earth, and ace of earth. This is very interesting combination, and of course, we do see here both of these reflections, right? We see this fire here in ten of fire, kind of like, hey, something hit the fan, and let's kind of like look for my kind of like piece of things. It, it could have been that you are leaving some attitudes, you're leaving a situation which could be ridden with melancholy, with things you really didn't want to do, things you kind of like really experienced and you really didn't know what to do. Maybe you were helpless. Look, even those dancing lobsters are not even attraction. You know, possibility of that is, is really remote in the cat world. So this can also mean kind of like wondering or hoping if something right is really really going to happen and I really think for you there is going to be lots of mini little stories in this particular month nothing really that is going to have a tone like you know that you can put one word it's sort of like a story that is like to be continued that's what I see it looks like the month is starting with this big bang. This could be just like simply this solar eclipse that we are going through, through maybe things that have been kind of like culminating for a while. Maybe you're really trying to go to that next level and then maybe something will explode in your face. This really talks about dealing with an element. Maybe you have been dealing with a fire or uh, literally with a fire sign or simply with situation that you knew is, is kind of like tricky to be with, right? Also, if you're noticing over here that one kitty is catching fire, another one is like really displaced, but the third one almost like kind of like really couldn't care less. It's kind of like creating the situation that maybe has created, has been created, is is displacing you. It's kind of creating you um, the situation where you really do not know who you are. And I really think that really bothers you more than anything else because it almost looks like that you're acting against your own kind of like will, if you wish, the devil card, right? So what basically that means? So let's say if you're the person who likes relationship, who wants relationship, and you're getting engaged in this, like I'm in, you know, one night stands and fly by night kind of like relationships and that kind of stuff, where all of a sudden you're losing this whole idea about who you are and, and how things are really going. The moon card here really, really wants to talk. It's, it's really lovely. Look at this, like, big eyes. They're really trying to see in this dark, but it's kind of like proceed with caution. Look at that. Where do I step? How do I go forward? How do I go toward these noises? Are these noises real? Is this just like echo? Is this reflection? If this card is animated, we probably would be seeing kind of like flickering basically ears over here. And look, we have like these, um, what do you call it? This glow in the dark kind of things, right? Um, just I forgot, fire, uh, fireflies, right? Over here. So the moon card is always talking about uncertainty in relationships, right? And, and it could be, I really think also that you're like maybe trying to switch from something and as I said, being your own worst enemies. Even though you want something, you just do that. And then at the end of the day, you feel really bad about that. And there is like some kind of like essence of betrayal that I see over here. Uh, having this seven of sky is, look, they're like, I guess, two people, two cats, two friends, two lovers. And this kitty got this little mousy and as I said, hey, I'm going to share, but for a moment, I was looking in a different direction. Life, right? Things get in the way. But the other one just like took this opportunity to grab everything that could be grabbed. 
Do you feel that somebody took away something from you? Or do you feel that maybe you are not in a situation where you are supposed to be, that you've been dealing with somebody who could be greedy, who could be undercutting you, where maybe you have a different plan. Maybe the bird is better than the mouse. Maybe you're feeling, okay, well, if you really wanted to grab it, maybe you really need it badly. Have it. It doesn't matter. Just have it, right? I'm not angry. I'm not any of that. It simply can also talks that maybe sometimes, and this could be just you, you have to, as I said, it kind of like really feels that maybe you will need to express yourself. Even that expression is anger. It, it kind of like makes me feel that you feel violated, that you feel, you know, th that you cannot really trust reality. Maybe there is like a point that some of you are feeling, oh my effing God. What is happening to me? This is not where I'm going to. And it almost like looks like that you're in some kind of like funny mirror house where the reflection of you are not who you want to be. So the month is really going to be all about really positioning and repositioning yourself, right? And uh, I really see that this actually carries the seeds of something really magnificent. You just need to be able to recognize that because when we are in the moon stage, right, we always have deceptions, the appearances and, and certain things that appear to be real and yes, this is what I want, you know, then they actually turn out to be never existing. It's something, you know, so you have to be very careful if you're meeting new people, that these people, you check them, you cross all your T's, you dot all your I's because people will be presenting themselves as something they're not. People, you know, and since you kind of find allure with sexiness, they might be so hard to resist. I really believe this was something like this the last month, where I said you're going to be really into carnal things this month. I really think this is kind of like trend is going to continue in this month, with one exception. You're actually not feeling good about that. You might even be the one who is initiating it, but you're just like feeling not right. And the shoe doesn't fit. And it's going to be like until toward end of the month because you'll be almost going through very kind of like extroverted situation, being around the people, too lethargic, too suspicious. As I said, this is almost like a whole bunch of little vignettes of a little stories that you're going to experience over the month. But then, I really think that there is like some kind of like reckoning, call it whatever you want, because you're swinging from emotions to, to basically reasoning, emotions reasoning. It's kind of like really confusing you this way. Actually, your annual telescope is, is very kind of like interesting and really, really talks about how this year you're going to have completely different shift in perceptions. So in the end, you're going to realize, hey, you know what, I do know myself. I actually do trust myself. There is like this theme of kind of like finding joy in things that you do. Maybe finding joy in your work. Maybe finding joy in what you have. Finding joy in your books. Finding joy in... Joy in uh, and I'm pronouncing this joy so weirdly and I don't know why. Uh, kind of like... <laughs> and then I'm seeing this little kind of like stone that I have here on the table. It says joy. So I really think it's like, I mean, you know, this movie Looking for Nemo? For you, it's really looking for joy and joy is you because you are definitely re figuring yourself out, reconfiguring yourself out. Who am I? Why do I want to this? Right? So how do I really want to go about it? Right? So I also feel that when you have this ace of earth, and I love this ace of earth, like putting your mark, there's like something sturdy, long term. And, and so you're like kind of like finally closing the door. You're looking at it. Maybe that lure is still out there, but you're really not engaging anymore. You're realizing, well, you know what? You're there and I'm here. And we simply are just not in the same tribe. And that's all there is. Yes, I like to visit your tribe and thank you for all these experiences. But you know what? I know what you want. 
and if I do not strive toward who I am and what I want and kind of like build something long term, almost like this this root looks like a wishbone to me. And we do su see this mushrooms. It's going to be lots of nocturnal uh, things for you guys. It's going to be um, lots of interesting things are going to be said at night. Night is going to be more or less activity. And I would really warn you that you are you not tr do not trust things said to you at night. Don't even trust yourself. But things that are in a bright daylight, that's going to be something that is going to be very, very, very revealing for you in this period of time. Okay, so given that we have one major arcana, the moon, and also we have this like nine of earth, so like we have this repetition of something that kind of like needs to be place to rest needs to kind of like really morph into something else or not to move it forward or find things that you want it looks like that you are really in the end deciding to do things on your own and whether like on your own it could mean that you're in a couplehood but it, it, it's going to be sort of like not in the rude way my way or the highway but like this is what I need and it's too bad if you don't want to share it with me, but I'm actually really, really good where I am. So let me just like see about all of these kind of like things. Mind you, it's going to be very interesting for you. You might actually have somebody born um, in the sign of, uh, I see fire, I see Pisces, and I see earth, and I see Capricorn really, really clearly coming through you. Especially Pisces can be very uh, confusing for you. So let me see this moon. The moon is talking about, um, friend and frivolity. Are you having a friend who is not uh, reliable, who is not making you feel comfortable, with whom you can only enjoy pleasure on their own terms? It, it does really feel that somebody is kind of like a fleeting friend. You know, like we all have those, right? When people are just with you and around you when they need you and for the purposes they need you. They might not even have that calculated calculation well you know i'm just going to use you for a night these are generally people who are drifters they're generally people who um in their own heads you know are kind of like a glory in their own heads well that's kind of like what i call it very narcissistic attitude right self-absorbed life is not i mean sure looking for the immediate this is like almost like animalistic and hence maybe you're going to be lured into that because you're maybe attracted to this person or you kind of like maybe crave friendships because this is basically that environment where, I mean, this was reversed, where you kind of like feel that you cannot afford to lose anybody in your life. It's kind of very important for you. But you really need to figure out, really question for you, Scorpio, um, do you prefer to be unhappy or happy? I don't think I need to answer that. But if you're unhappy, how much more unhappiness are you willing to absorb? One more year, one more month, one day, one hour. If you answer any of the above, I have to ask you why. I really have to ask you why. So let me see the seven of sky because I don't like to see this card. Seven of sky, huh. gift and a wife. It could be that you're dealing with somebody because the devil can actually also talk about relationships that are gone wrong and where the exes are involved and somebody else is pulling the strings. Maybe this is even you, that you are not, maybe you have one partner and, and you're really wondering about somebody else, right? And it could be possible that, <laughs> interestingly enough, some of you might be straying out of your marriage for all of these things that I said. So just be very careful grass is greener in the neighbor's garden but it doesn't mean it's not dangerous there could be a whole bunch of bugs and spiders over there keep that in mind let me see this like tricky situation over here that i see the stand of fire we see the room and it's we're waiting that's right the room get a room waiting for getting a room like you guys are going to be hyper sexualized this month i'm sorry to say but it's going to be so confusing for you because even though you're going to enjoy all of these things that are carnal and 
possibly having not one but few affairs really simultaneously and really maybe with uh, having in mind that well i don't want anything serious out of it but at the end of the month it's going to be kind of like end of it you're clearly going into something that is real something that is strong and something that is really going in a good direction you see the people who are unavailable you might need to get some coaching, some therapy, possibly even tarot reading when the doctor card shows up. And this gentleman really talks about somebody who kind of like failed you. You kind of like are going in a new direction, which is a healthy direction, which is like right now you're getting your medicine, you're getting this direction. Somebody's telling you, hey, this is the shortest, this is the shortcut. Keep going there. Do not go left and right because this meandering is actually eventually going to bother you. Okay, in the second part, I'm going to, no, this is the second part, <laughs> duh, and in the third part, let's look into these relationships, and I developed a spread that is going to tell us all in one, in one spread, we are going to see uh, singles and what singles want, we are going to see people who want relationships, we are going to see people who maybe just exited the relationship to see what they uh, partners think and also people who already are in a relationship. So you can also position it differently, you can say, okay, now I'm single and this is what my partner is thinking and if I were in the relationship I would be going through that. So this is actually that powerful. So let me just zoom this out. So you can see this a little bit more. All right, Scorpio for Scorpio for January of 2019. Scorpio for January 2019. And Scorpio, this is resonating with you. Then this is really the place where you need to be. In order not to forget, um, such a cute name, Cat Kara, if I shall say so, just subscribe or go on Facebook, go on Instagram, get on my mailing list, so we will be in touch. Okay. So, Scorpio, 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 in fact, holy moly, that's interesting. Boy, you are, like, you're really, really thinking about something needs to be really, really serious. Oh my god, it's Hierophant is my marriage card. It is kind of like, where do I want to go and who do I want to be with? So that's going to be really interesting reading over here. Okay, so let's start. Singles. If you're single, like, what basically will be happening this month? First of all, yes, you will be marriage-minded. And here is this repetition. We again have the Seven of Swords, remember? The cat grabbing this little mice by being distracted, something being taken away. Maybe you're feeling a little bit resentful that you were maybe hoping for somebody for the happiness. Look, you're getting like this Ten of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Look at that. Ten and three is thirteen. That will be your card, the death card, right? And thirteen and seven is twenty, which is the judgment card, the karma card, which is also your card, Scorpio. You, you just cannot really, really go wrong about that. Um, there is like certainly um, something that you feel that slipped through your fingers. You feel that somebody kind of like really put these swords in your hands and y you got all cut and bruised and it was sort of like not really a death of thousand cuts but injury of thousand cuts like somebody took something that really belonged to you it's not really that you minded but you're more kind of like wondering because this is lots about the process of thinking right and he's wearing this hat to hide from God to hide the actions from God Interestingly enough, this person thought this is their righteous kind of like ability, uh, uh, right, to do stuff like that to you. And, and you did put a brave face on, but I think you're very disappointed about this entire situation. My fear here is that you're still really lured in that relationship. My fear here is that you're not really recognizing this as a huge red flag. If there is a red flag in tarot, that will be these two cards. It's huge two red flags, right? And the death reversed, which kind of like is hiding over here in your numbers. So it's really important to acknowledge this. You are clearly, you want everything, but instead of like moving forward, you're thinking, I need to go backward and maybe reassess it, reshift myself. Be careful. 
this month in any case one way or the other is going to shift you in a completely kind of like different direction the Hierophant is also about setting rules down putting your foot down well this is the way it's going to be you know in relationships we all want to kind of have this flow especially with you the water flow goes back and forth but it kind of like looks to me that they're like really more elements than one usually if you have like one element missing you can kind of like deal with that it's kind of driving on three wheels it's not the best situation but you can still do it but there's like more than one element missing and i really think that one only wheel is working right now and you have to really figure out why is it that you're still kind of like giving it time of a day because i honestly don't see um heartache over here i, I see disappointment i see frustration so let me see if you're wondering about this partner, if you're wondering what the heck is going on there, what has, what would be happening, right? Look, they actually currently are just enjoying themselves on their own. Um, maybe your partner has a child or they're participating in some kind of like business or some kind of like studies. They may be maybe growing something and their full dedication is into that. They might also be belonging to some kind of like, um, maybe going to some kind of like groups some meetings it doesn't look like it's one-on-one -on -one. it could be um with more people but i kind of like have this essence that this is kind of like you go in a group kind of like activity and you come out on your own there is like fully dedication to basically themselves and what they are doing or to their studies so maybe this was the problem that they were sort of like a part of workaholic and that you know there was like no availability for you so in that sense you will have to put your foot down or it could be that you know this person here is just like saying you need to come to me you need to serve me because look at this it's kind of like very puffy kind of card and i don't understand why some readers think it's a wish card well make a wish you saw what happens nothing nothing happens this person is making a wish that you have to serve them are you going to that's simply boiling down to that so let's see my scorpios who are in relationships oh my goodness and we are having this repetition of four of cups and ten of pentacles remember the lobsters and somebody not seeing things as they are there are also some kind of like issues that you guys have in relationships there's like also some kind of like positioning maybe there's like some level of disappointment over here not everything is happening the way it should be happening but it is really minor not all stars are lining up sort of a thing but then you have this card which means look just just grin and bear it because you're actually pushing through in the new phase which this kind of like really means karma accomplished hey you're moving in a new direction you might have um, another scorpio aquarius taurus or leo influencing the situation and just like making sure you kind of like end up safely on the other side there is like this circle right there is like also infinity symbol hidden in this card right there is like this huge dance of kind of like upliftment um if and i know this is a love reading but um it could be that you guys might be even considering moving if you're married and maybe one partner wants to move another one doesn't want to move maybe it could be um, that there's like somebody moving in with you such as an in-law and this is kind of like rearranging this entire happiness over here and in any case uh, i mean really i think couples should just almost like rejoice in everything that is really going on so let's check the overall meaning over here and look at that you have the lovers reversed seven of wands reversed and queen of pentacles reversed well this again talks about for married couples especially if you are female that you are not feeling currently right in the relationship maybe the setup has to be done differently maybe you want something more serious maybe you know there are issues and partner is creating a whole bunch of problems maybe you cannot really give them what they want maybe they're not giving you what you want what you need right um but there is like the essence of look it is what it is you know this is the card of choice and this is the card of defending yourself so it's kind of like i'm doing neither anymore it's just kind of like things are but this actually it really is an essence for singles it's for you to understand that 
you know, you might want this, and this is available, and not chasing this because now you're wasting this, that you need to shift, right? For the couples is, okay, we can start kind of like putting this notches on, you did this to me, you did this to me on list, or we can just like simply kind of like forget it if something is smaller and move on. The choices are sort of like going to be ever present in your life, and that is like really important that this kind of like came through, right? And look at this, 7 and 6 is 13, and your Scorpio are again coming through. So this is again talking about that, you know, what a relationship represents for you. Some people might be coming in your life who might want to be, who might want to take advantage of you financially, or who might simply not have it what it takes to be in a relationship. Relationship is collaboration on many levels. Sure, emotional aspect is what we usually choose, but you break relationships not so much on, hey, you know, I fell in love with you. You break relationships because of betrayal. You break relationships because, you know, people are not compatible in spending or people are not compatible in par uh, pa um, parenting. This also could mean X, because I can see that here as well, and that in particular probably would be talking about people who are in a relationship. So that could talk about the X relationship, X marriage or something, that actually in that situation, if that's the case, this is not somebody you're with. In that case, maybe you had, I don't know, somebody who could have been a Gemini or fire sign with whom you're actually moving to the next level. and the kind of whole essence of where is this belonging is like now getting really really clear so Scorpio I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're going to have a wonderful January so please come here a few times because you guys are going to have lots of little little, little steps uh, toward actually pushing things through this month so it would be good to hear your experiences also please support the channel order your annual telescopes and lastly, if you want uh, the reading from me, contact me at cattero.ca. And don't forget that all my information is down on the list to put yourself on the mailing list and to subscribe if you like it. So that's where you can find it. And until the next time, you know that I love you. And all the best. This month is going to be fun. Love you.